All right, good evening, Cypher friends. It's the Midi Man coming at you again from Walk Studio, <clears throat> back in Studio B. And we want to say that we give God all the praise and glory and all the honor, as usual. Thanking Him for each and every one of you, my Cypher friends. You know who you are. As y'all see in the title of my video tonight, uh, it says, My New Vision. Uh, I got another uh, aspect, I got another vision that I have that uh, I must undertake quickly. Um, now that I'm back at my home church uh, on numerous Sundays, second, third, and fourth, perhaps fifth as well, especially when we are not in union meeting. And uh, I wanted to uh, make certain that, uh, matter of fact, uh, the choir president had talked to me a little bit uh, on this past Sunday about a, a, a song that she had uh, found on YouTube on the internet, a uh, Chicago Mass Choir song that she wanted me to teach the choir and whatnot. But we got to find we got to find some sort of way so we can get some quality rehearsals in and uh, in order to do that and uh so that's how come I say I got a new vision. Uh give me something to shoot for. Um perhaps I got to get me another setup at my church. Um the keyboard is kinda it's a little bit old and outdated and uh I got keys out on the top end and uh in the upper octaves and I don't like that. I like to have everything working. Um, we are going to have to try to get another, I want, I, I want that new DX. I want that new uh, Yamaha. Um, I forget the, I forget the, I forget the model, but it's the new, the one about two or three years ago it came out, I believe it was, but uh, I'm going to look into that, but we're going to, we're going to have to have something else. And, um, uh, I'm going to also get my own little personal stuff that I will use. Uh, I'm going to fix up me a recording computer mobile that I can take to the church with me. I got to get some, some uh, articles together so I'll be able to carry it. So I can't carry too much, y'all, not like I used to. But I can carry some things if they're light. And I get me some sort of uh, mobile way to carry it with me to and from, I'll be able to do it, and it won't be much to set up, but I got to do a new setup for my for my home church, and uh, matter of fact, uh, at my first Sunday church up in New Salem, uh, we were already in the process of, uh, before the pandemic, we was already in the process of, of, uh, of getting another keyboard, and, and uh, getting it in place there for the ministry, my music ministry there. Um, I got to talk to Brother Clark about that as soon as we go back to the church, in other words. As soon as we go back in the sanctuary, I will talk to my buddy, Fade Clark, and we'll see about that that part. But at any rate, I know I'm going to have a, I'm gonna have a mobile setup that I can set up things real quickly and uh, won't have no, no, no issues, in other words, with the audio and the beat making, I won't have to worry about a drama or nothing. I have everything I need right there with me, compact with my own setup. I created all myself. That's how come I say Mini Man has a new vision right now. So y'all just uh, pray for Mini Man. Pray for my success in doing this thing. Not that I might look good, but that the ministry, the music ministry will go right inside the church, the God's house. You see, people, have me a little coffee all tonight. We need to do things when we come to God. We need to do it excellent. Always do it excellent. Don't do nothing halfway for God. Don't give God anything. We people talk about God will understand. No, He won't. God won't excellence. And so that's what I intend on. I mean, you know what? I'm, to do the best that you can. Yeah, I mean. You do the best that you can. Don't worry about the red night. God does not expect anything out of you that's not already in you. He don't expect you to do things that you know you are not capable of doing. That's one thing God do not require. But that that you can do, he look for your very, very best. And that's how come I say I got a new vision. I know exactly what I need. I know exactly what, how I'm going to set it up. It's just a matter of me getting the thing 
and getting the thing that I can carry to the to and from the church because I'm not going to leave it in the church. I'm not going to leave my equipment placed in there like that because, I mean, I'm going to use it in both places. I'm going to use it in New Salem as well as Antioch. So I'm going to be, it's going to be mobile and I'm going to have a way of, of transporting it, especially in my condition now that I'm not, see, I'm not, I got an amputated left leg here, y'all, so I can't carry the stuff the way I used to, but I still can carry something. And if I get the, if I get me a, like a cart or something mobile that I can just carry it in and out because it's not going to be that heavy. So I can easily lift it up, you know, if I need to, but I just need to just set it up. I'm going to have a mobile system that I'm going to have it set up just like I did Walker's Music in my main studio. I got, I got something out there I call it my pit. It's my pit, recording pit. When I'm in there, I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to give y'all an aspect of how I got it out there in my recording pit. Those of you that seen my video, you perhaps seen some of the setup out there, but setting facing north in my in my uh, studio out there, facing north, I got my Yamaha keyboard, 76 keys, this way, and I'm sit facing the keyboard this way. All right, over here to my right, Directly in arm reach is my recording computer. I got an HP out there and it's powerful. Recording computer, it got my software on a mixed craft. I think I got sonar on there too, I think. But I know I got mixed craft, but I got to put Ableton Live on there because when I get, uh, I'm not going to use that in my recording computer in my mobile unit I'm, that I'm going to be taking back and forth to the church. I'm going to have to get me another one, a laptop to do that. But I'm just showing y'all the way I got it set up out there at Walker's Music. I got, okay, the keyboard facing north, keep my Yamaha 76 key, then my, my my laptop with the recording stuff on it. I got a four channel mixer sitting right here behind me on the floor, arm reach, arm reach. Then I got um, the PreSonus box, I got that audio unit the audio interface, and then I got two, two, not one, but two 15-inch loudspeakers behind me, and both of them are wide open blasting. That is my recording pit out there at Walker Studio A. That's why I, I can sit right there and do, I won't ever have to move. I got my headphones set right here on my, on my microphone pole, Got my mic, and I got three floor mics out there to do any more recording going into preamps all in my arm reach. I will never have to move. That's the way I want to have it at, at the church. When I do go and we get ready to, uh, choir get ready to employ, all I got to do is hit button, bam, hit button, and go to plan. I'm going to be like a, a one-man band. But it's Junior Walker, Junior Walker. In other words, and that's what I'm in my vision now to do, uh, especially now that I'm back, at least back at my home church for right now. Uh, any of y'all, we have went back, like I said, we went back on the 4th of July, and uh, we eased back into the sanctuary, and I do believe that New Salem will be going back in. Um, I was told by Janice uh, that we will probably be in, easing back as well as faded, that we might be easing back into the church in January, I mean, not January, but in September. But whatever it be, we gonna it's going to be what it's going to be. Whenever they get ready to move, we'll move together. In other words, they are, New Salem already know. They, are, I, they, they know, we already know what, what we got going on. When they get ready to move, all of us going to move together. That's the way it should be. But people need to communicate, and that's what we have been doing. Uh, ever since the pandemic, you know, the, the, we have stayed in constant communication, constant communication from the Reverend Ernell Wilburn, which is a friend of mine. We were friends way back before we even started preaching. We was always friends, good friends in high school and everything, you know. His sister Kim is also one of my choir members up there, as well as his sister Janice, which is my classmate. And we all just stayed in constant contact throughout the pandemic. And that's how come we know exactly what's, what we are going to try to do in the name of the Lord. That's all you can do. You, if you do things, you put God first, it will succeed, y'all. 
you know, I tell y'all in every video that I do, I, at the end, I always say, whatever you get or whatever you get into, if God ain't in it, you need to get out of it because it's not going to work. And a lot of times, that's the reason why things don't work for us because we fail to put God in the middle of it. God needs to be the center. Jesus is the center. In other words, don't, he's just not a part. Let him be the main part. And then everything you do, if God be in it, it will be a success. And you won't have to worry about it, especially if you're doing it for his glory and not yours. Now, when you start doing stuff to get light shine on you, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Don't expect that kind of, that, to be too much success in that. That's what I'm telling y'all. But uh, I got some, I really, uh, in, in spite of all the stuff that happened, and God knows we lost some people that was very, very dear to us on, during that, that mess, I call it, last year. And uh, we we really did miss some, we lost some dear people that were dear to me. And I knew very well, but we that's still here, we can't stop living because of that. We got to continue to do what we supposed to do. God has not let me off the hook. I don't been, even after all I done been through. I done been through sickness, y'all, since January, since February 8, 2018. And I just got turned loose by my 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 cordial angel Jessica, one of my cordial angels. She told the one that been doctoring on me here for the last I don't know how many months, trying to get that foot on there healed. And finally, it the the Lord healed me through the the through the their their service. They do they did God healed me with them through them, and I thank God for that. And so. My my way of showing my thanks is not to sit down. That is my foot healed for me to get back up and get back to work. And that's what many man, Junior Walker, Deacon Walker, that use anyone you want. That's what I intend to do. I'm going to do what I was doing, but I'm going to up it up another 50%. I'm going to up it up. I don't, I, I ain't never like doing stuff halfway, no how. But now, in the spite of what done happened, everybody ought to be serious and got to have a great attitude and look like to me. They ought to want to be, look like to me with all the stuff the people done been through and God done brought us through. Ever since 2018, because y'all, not only did 2018 that I, my trouble started with my health. That's when that, that Hurricane Michael came through and tore stuff up to a degree. And you still got people, then there come this other stupid mess called Corona. And we still got people that still don't have a good attitude about nothing. Well, Middy Man got a new vision for the church. And I'm going to do my best to put the greatest music that I can put inside that, that sanctuary. If we don't sing for a half a song a Sunday, it's going to be a good half a song. It ain't going to be nothing thrown together. And the, and the music going to be quality. And I ain't, ain't going to sit over here at this keyboard and just throw something together. I'm going to make certain that it's right. And like I said, I got to build me another port, a mobile unit that I can take with me. Something that I can handle in my condition. Because y'all, I, I really, I cannot, I cannot stand very long. I cannot stand very long. I, I, I have to sit down, I maybe mean, 10 or 15 after standing 15 to 20 minutes, I got to sit down. I just must tell the truth. So I know I got to have a nice mobile unit, one that I can lift. And it's not going to be that heavy. It's just that I just cannot carry stuff, and I got to have a way to carry it so I will not fall down, <laughs> if y'all know what I mean. Uh, so we gonna we, we got great aspiration about that, and I'm looking forward to getting back working with the choir and all. Uh, any of y'all missionary about the church, Mass Choir and uh, New Salem CME, we are uh, we gonna go back to the business as usual. And uh, matter of fact, I um, my church did go full time, and one of my churches, uh, I I, uh, I had to in in and let go, and I had to go on back to my home. Uh, that was my third Sunday church, Pleasant Grove AME Church, and uh, really and truly, God knows I will miss. I will miss them a lot because I will say that they were the oldest child. That was one of the first churches I started playing for once I came back in the area, which is about 30 years if you count it from 93 
up until now we had a little bit of brief interruption there but it wasn't I still was playing for him even then um but now I had to go uh, do to call me to come back home on that and so you know we had to do what we had to do and no animosity I can I can, I'm glad to say that that it was you know a lot of times when people leave a place it be because of some sort of mess but this is one time I can gladly say and I'm thankful that it ain't with no mess behind this it was just circumstance and so you know we uh we got people that we're gonna certainly miss them in that choir because I spend a lot of time with Pleasant Grove I mean just about 30 years y'all that's a long time but at any rate God wills God will fix it in other words God will fix it for them as well and um it is my prayer that they will get them another musician that will feel the way about them that I did and do what I and, and make certain that he do he or she it could be a female that they will do and give them quality service the way I tried to give them quality service all them years myself so that is my prayer for that but mid man we'll go on in the condition I'm in uh, I feel like I, I'm blessed because of the fact that it could have been the other way y'all uh, I, 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 y'all see me sitting in front of this camera but if y'all could, y'all should have seen me, or uh, what I done been through. Then you would understand what I'm talking about. I have went through some stuff, but I thank God for the journey. God was with me every step of the way, and He have brought me back to this stage where I am right now. And so, like I said, I'm not gonna sit down. Ain't no way in the world I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna get up and do what I'm supposed to do. Amen. So with that being said, this middle man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God ain't in it, please, ma'am, please, sir, come on out of it. Because it's going to come to nothing. Until the next video, next Bible study, whichever comfort, this is middle man saying peace and good evening.